Hi everyone and thank you for tuning in. I presume if you're here you want to have a look at the lower primary Christmas workbook to decide whether this is a suitable resource for your child or your class. So this is the cover page. It includes a wreath. Now if you're printing this in black and white there would be some opportunity then to add some color and decorate um, or perhaps to put some kind of um, glitter or three-dimensional collage elements onto the wreath if you wanted to make it out of cardboard and then we just head into the book. Now the first part is an encoded message. The code includes a bunch of Christmas trees which do look quite similar in some places. You can pause and have a quick look at this if you would like to. Um, the message is quite simple down here for the lower primary book. So I tried this with my own children. I have a daughter in grade one in Australia and she was able to work this out. Um, she did make a couple of errors looking at some of the trees and thinking they were quite similar um, but quickly worked out that the message that she had written didn't make sense and then came back up to uh, have another look. So I think that's achievable but that's probably suitable for say your grade one maybe grade two student rather than a prep student who might struggle. Um, you'd need to help them I think with the Christmas trees. That's not to say it's not doable. Um, I certainly think it could be done and could be a fun challenge, but you might want children to work in pairs. Um, by the end of prep, of course, we're talking about the end of the year and Christmas time, but um, if you have some children who are on that lower end of achievement, perhaps they could work with a buddy who's a little bit more high achieving to do this activity together. The find a word, um, the words only run horizontally and vertically in this one and they're fairly easy words and there's just 10 of them. Helping to fill Santa's sleigh here, this activity, we've got some items at the bottom of the page that can be cut out and then there's some instructions on each box so the child can cut a teddy bear out and then glue a teddy bear into the box, onto the box up here. So it's a cut and paste activity as well as following some instructions. There are some numerals included in those instructions so that children can be thinking about that one-to-one -one correspondence in um, the meaning of the numerals. So a little bit of mathematical thinking in there as well. This one's much more overtly mathematical. Simple addition facts um, up to 10 and matching the child with the gift. This one here is a symmetry activity, draw the missing half of each shape and as you can see there are some that are more difficult than others. The wreath is probably the most difficult, trying to match that um, large dot small dot pattern going around the wreath. There are some Christmas riddles, these are quite tricky but good for a giggle and the answers are down the bottom here and they might be something that you could go through in pairs um, or even as a whole class and have a bit of a laugh. You could take these and encourage children to ask them to family members or something that I've done with my own children is then um, turn these into the jokes for family bonbons as well. The spot the difference is fairly easy, 10 differences here. We do include a, an answer code at the end and then a colouring in activity colouring these ones and then drawing their own Christmas picture and the answers are all included here. Hope that's helpful. This resource is available in the TPT store for um, the Lavender Learning resources and I will include a link in the description to this video as well although I'm assuming that you may have come to the video based on um, coming across the product in TPT or somewhere else. Thanks so much for tuning in. I hope that was in, uh, interesting and helped you to make a decision. I'm going to put up another video for each of the other workbooks. I have a middle primary one and then a, an upper primary one and they're all variations on the same sorts of activities but they do have some uh, increasing, increasingly difficult uh, elements as well. Thank you.